think these guys are going to be careful if somebody runs out of fuel in the middle of this. Man, what a big problem that could create. Now you can see that. If somebody run out of fuel right there in the middle of that group, it would cause a huge wreck. We've heard. Oh, here's a car oh, upside down. Big time crash upside oh, down. Oh, it's Ryan Newman. See Kevin Harvick there. Marcus Am Ambrose. Ambrose is there, comes across. Harvick stops, and Newman's car comes to rest upside down on its roof. We were hoping it would not happen, and here with five laps ago, yeah, indeed it has. Here. Hell of a job. I don't know what started that, but you see you know, quite a bit of damage on that car. Flipped over three or four times. Yeah, I was looking out the window, but I could not see that so far, that's the furthest point away from us. Just couldn't tell what was going on there. The safety crews are there immediately. They get in the car and will try to communicate with the driver. Kevin Harvick has pulled his car away. Thirty nine car of Ryan Newman on its nose, on its tail, on its side, flipped over on its roof and then slid down across the racetrack into the grassy area. 47 cars moved away of Ambrose as well as a 29 of Harvey. Yeah, these cars get turned around, like especially at the highest part, speed part of the track, at the end of the straightaway, and they get turned around and they just lift off the ground. And we could see it tumbling from that point. Let's show you again what happened here. Five laps to go at Talladega. And watch a car get turned around. Oh, he and his teammate. Tony Stewart got into the wall, but you can see it turns Ryan Newman around. As soon as it does, it's almost like that wing acts as a, to help to lift the car up. Lands on Kevin Harvick's hood. See Elliot Sadler there involved. Elliot trying to jam the brakes on to keep from hitting the 39 as it was pirouetting up the track. He's able to miss it. Harvick able to get the car woed down as the 39 just comes rolling down on its roof.